Y'all, this is Rose Bell. Hello to my many friends, also to my many enemies. Once again, this is Rose Bell Sounds Off. And on this special edition of Rose Bell Sounds Off, I'm here on the south side of Chicago, um, around 47th Street. And I have with me Angel. Angel. And explain to um, how come we are here on 47th Street on this cold day in Chicago in front of this Korean owned beauty supply shop. Today we're here to protest uh, something that happened with a sister out in North Charlotte, North Carolina, um, beginning of the week or per se. Um, she went into the store, um, they allegedly assumed that she took some took an item out of the store, I mean tried to take lashes. some eyelashes out of the store. Um, they checked her and everything for what I seen on the camera and she didn't have anything. So right after that the owner, the owner and the other co-worker, a female, took it upon their own self to get aggressive with her and like the guy pushed her, the lady pushed her first, then the guy pushed her and then the guy grabbed her and kind of like threw her on the ground. And then the lady was holding her arm, which she couldn't, you know, help herself. He threw it on the ground. He put it in a, what I call, an air garden chokehold because she was choking, saying she couldn't breathe. And After that... And at the time, wasn't this... What, I don't know the whole story, but wasn't, wasn't this girl pregnant or something? Was supposed they to said be she time? was pregnant. I had just heard that yesterday. They said she was pregnant. Like, um, I, I really don't know that fact. Cause, you know, to I don't sure. know, to be sure. Okay. Um, they allegedly said that she was pregnant, uh -huh. um, but they actually took matters into their own hands after they realized she didn't have any lashes. You know, the lady in the store started getting aggressive with her first. And I don't understand something. How come they're gonna throw somebody to the ground and choke them in good? And they looked at the security camera, or whatever they did, and found out that she didn't have the lashes. That should have been completely forgotten about. Myself. It should have been completely forgotten about. But sometimes things it goes starts like a little snowball and it just blows up. You know, and mm -hmm. um. We, it's very unacceptable to our sisters uh, that support their economy, of their store, you know, a million dollar business. Uh, so we're here in Chicago, Illinois at Mises on 47th and Langley to protest because we came, we did our research. We found out that this store in, North, in Charlotte, North Carolina has a chain store here in Chicago. So we're here today to shut them down. Enough is enough. We're not getting the respect that we deserve. Well, why do you think that Koreans and even some Arabs who own like the liquor stores and you know it's, it's some of the gas stations and Indians who own the subways and own the Dunkin' Donuts? Why do you think that sometimes we don't get any kind of respect? Do you think it's just them or certain things they might have heard about black people? Is it like a cultural difference or what do you think it is? Well, from what I was taught, I think it was designed. It was designed. It was designed to keep our peoples down, to never have a come up, to never have anything, to keep us deaf, dumb, and blind. Um, it's designed. Because everybody in our neighborhood seems like it's making money except for us. Except so I, for I, us, except for us. And we do have to do for ourselves. What, you know? do you, what do you say something to people who would say that black people should, you know, get up and try to start their own businesses and stop trying to be lazy, stop letting these people into your community? and they blame black people for the fault and everything that they're in when these kind of businesses come to their community. What do you have to say to people who say that to black people, saying that we could have owned this beauty supply store just like anybody else? We've been talking about that for years, you know. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's to the point now, it's, we'll talk about it, be about it. That we could spend one dollar here, we could spend one dollar there, we could spend one dollar here. We could collectively put our money together and build our own. And do you think that, um, um, like I asked you uh, once before, because you know this is the second take because I have to do it again because come to find out that the video wasn't recorded, hopefully I had it right this time. Okay. Um, that um, you know dealing with you know black people or taking you know let's just say self responsibility as you know people even like the minister Louis Farrakhan has taught that people should do Malcolm X even Martin Luther King had taken responsibilities whether it be good or bad for their own actions um do you actually believe that it's some of the vices of black people especially with liquor stores uh, in the community owned by Arabs sometimes owned by Koreans and black people are going into these stores buying beer buying cigarettes buying cigarellos and cigars all of this other kind of stuff do you think that it's some of our 
habits and bad vices that contribute to some of this because the store wouldn't be there if we didn't buy into it. And support, it. exactly. I mean, you're a product of your environment per se. Mm -hmm. um, you're a product of your environment. What you see is what you get. You know, um, some people step out of the box, you know, um, that say, oh, we're not gonna eat those type of foods, or, mm -hmm. you know, uh, we're not gonna drink in our family, we're not gonna smoke in our family because it's hereditary. You know, you teach your kids of the past, of yeah. what your family's done in the past that was designed already for us. You know, they build these, they used to build the projects to put us all crammed up in one tenement, you know what I mean? Stack us on top of one another. Stack us on top of one another, you know what I mean? Like crabs in a barrel. So it's like now that we branching out and a lot of people was waking up, my family's waking up and I'm trying to spread the word, you know, cause that's, I was born that way. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to wake up the people so we can learn to get our own, put our coins together, put our coins together. Get one big bear, one time start dumping the money and it's okay. This is what we're going to buy first. We're going to buy this school on this corner. Grandma, Mayor Ron is I mean, shutting down everything. Yeah, because I mean, even Malcolm X, even during his day, from what I remember, he did that kind of thing. He used to pass around a big collection bucket and collect money to open up businesses mm -hmm. because he says that you should give money for businesses instead of even giving money to the church because the church doesn't make money for anybody else really but preachers it doesn't make money for you yeah that's yeah that's what they say <laughs> so um, that's what they say so before everybody gets this since we're still waiting on some more people yes, i'm gonna sir. be bringing you more footage uh why don't you tell um everybody what's going to be happening um this saturday at 12 noon here at this particular beauty supply store and even give the address of the place so all of my customers or all of my people on YouTube or Facebook or something could see. This is 642 East 47 in the name of the place. The What's name of the place. This, this Saturday. The name of the, uh, today, uh, Saturday, I'm Saturday. We're spreading the word day by day that we're going to be out here protesting Saturday at 12 o'clock. Love everyone to come out and support your people, support your sisters and brothers for for justice. Justice. If not, then send your next door neighbor. If you can't make it, just try to make it. Just try to show, show, show some support for your people. It was wrong, and we don't want it to happen again. So therefore, we're here to shut it down. We don't want them in our community. No, no apologies. None of that. We want them gone. Gone. And this is this Saturday at uh, right this here. This Saturday at 12 o'clock at Mesa's on 642 East 47th Street, uh, right around the corner of 47th and Langley, if I'm correct, at 12 noon, right? At 12 noon. On this Saturday, March 18th, 2017. Yes. Uh, so everybody who can, in, especially in the Chicago area, come down and support. And plus, we're also going to be dealing with um, probably pushing more black businesses yes as well. yes we have a lot the of information about a lot of other beauty supplies um you can google it and just google black supply black owned businesses beauty supply stores in chicago and it'll come up yes because well, there's plenty of them out here i only know yeah. about one is the 87th and loomis um and there's Jordan's Beauty Supply Jordan's around Beauty Supply. I seen that today on Jeffrey. Facebook. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Martin put it all up today. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said he was going to do today. Yep. That's what he told me he was going to do. <laughs> and uh, and we have, even though it's not a beauty supply store, we even have a couple of black businesses across the street. Yes. And I will be, you know, um, as soon as I get done with this, taking the camera and zooming in on yes. those across the street. Yes. Even though they're... Um, Black eateries is still a black business, so yep. come down and um, support. And thank you so much. Thank um, you, Rosabelle. For, um, thank you, brother. Something in the meantime, while we're waiting on other people, and I will be uh, bringing more to you all in a second. And buy some stuff and help them out. These people are not doing anything for the community. Come on, you guys. Come on, don't, don't, don't buy stuff in your store. You need to go home and look at the video where they beat that young lady up. And she was here. black, just like we are. Come on. 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 Come they got to walk in the store and get, giving me side eyes, so I just let them go. Oh ahead. my God. And I was out here by myself, so I said, you know what I'm saying?
Why y'all shopping in there? Trust me. Let me tell you something else. Trust me. Go on and look at the video. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Get the words yeah. out. Yeah. Get them in the pocket. Yeah. See that see that young lady, she she was going in and buy something, yeah. so she said, no, I ain't going Hello, in there. Ma'am. See, look at that, look at that. Hello, she ain't want to hear nothing. See, that's, that's stupid. That's stupid. Right. 
The ones that want to be educated, we will do that. Right. And we will explain the reason why they should not shop in that store. <laughs> we, so we, so we don't, we don't stand for nothing, you. man. Yeah. They fall for everything. Yeah. See, they study going in there. Yeah. Instead of her, that girl saying, no, I'm not shopping there. Yeah. Let's go to the other one down the street, right. anything. Yes. She's study going Especially in there. you driving. Right. I understand you. you Might have walked know. around right, here right. something. I understand. But if you drive, you could just, you know. Go somewhere else. Y'all yeah. get the flyers made. Yeah. Okay, okay. 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 You got to get some flyers made. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you say? You got to get something made? Yeah. Get some flyers made. Right. Yeah. That's what you know, we made yesterday. I that's mean, in shit. public. In public. Out yeah. here. Yeah. So these yeah. people that's going into yeah. that store can see yeah. the video. Yeah. Some of them like her. She knew. She dodged you yeah. in there anyway. Stupid. They choosing beauty over unity. Beautiful. Shame. Well, see, see that, 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 those are people. That's the seated people. That's all they can turn around and They know that the cops don't. Right. And they can't protect this store. Right. Because we have the right to protest. Right. That's right. Oh, they had 20 cops, maybe 50 cops out here yeah. trying to stop us from yeah. uh, boycotting. Mm -hmm. yep. The other cop, the brother yeah, we cop, we made the whole message, they kept it moving. Yeah. Then the thief folks came and stood up. <laughs> hey, 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 Roosevelt. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people know my videos, they know my voice, but they don't know how I look, really. Right. <laughs> Because at the end of the day, it's what you told me this afternoon. It's not always about us. It's just right. about getting the words out. That's it. That's what. That's the main thing I focus on my video. If we got some black, hey, Martin, yeah. we got some black-owned businesses right across here, don't we? Right. Oh, yeah. Right. It's called Two Fish All right, yeah. Channel 7. Yeah. Yeah. Now, All plus right. I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get this on video so people can see on YouTube when I upload this tonight. Is he a guy that owns the store? Oh, he's been there. 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 Well, we got to do something about yeah, it. Got to put him out of here. We gonna do that? Yeah, just cash. He got to give more dollars to send him black women there. there. And that guy right there. That's what he's doing to him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And black women still wow. going in this store shopping? That girl right there. That lady yeah. right there. Yeah, she told. Just shut him down. Yeah. Yeah. Shut him down. Shut him down and let him let him sit here by himself. Yeah. That'll be the best yeah. thing. Yeah, too many other places to go to. You're going to give me some bacon grease and bring up this
no, no, no. I thought you were going to. Okay, okay. okay. I right. Her. Yeah. Right. right. Nobody. No. No. Right. 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 I'll see. I support you. Black Lives Matter, Women of Faith. How do you spell uh, your name, Carol? C A R O L Y N. And R U F F, like rough and ready. <laughs> what, what, I guess, what's your message? Our message is to shut this store down. Uh, there was an incident that happened in um, Charlotte, North Carolina, and where this young lady was shopping at, at one of these stores. Uh, they claim that she stole some eyelashes. And it, what they did, they um, they grabbed her. They grabbed her because they swore her down. She stole the eyelashes. She didn't steal anything. So they grabbed her, they kicked her, they slammed her to the floor, they choked, hold her, and she said, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. They were punching her like she's a guy. And she was an innocent young lady, but yet and still, they were blocking her, and they ganged up on her. They put her arm behind her back, the, the, the female uh, employee, and the male employee was choking her at the same time. So, and the name of the store is Miss Hot. The owner of that store is the owner of this store. So that's why we need to shut this store down, because they need to respect the community, they need to respect, respect the African American community, they need to respect our children because every time we go in there, they follow us around like we're going to steal something, you know, and we're constantly paying them our money when we can keep our money in the black community. So we're not going to shop here and we're going to shut it down. How can you be sure that the incident in North Carolina was about, was about race? I'm not saying it was about race. It was about what we saw on YouTube. Now, if you bring it up on YouTube, you will see what happened, sir. I'm not saying it was about race. Did I mention race? No. No, no. I didn't mention race. So don't put that out there. Well, you did, I mean, just now you did say, you know, they need to respect the African -American. Yes, they need to respect the African American uh, community because I just said when we go into their stores, they follow us around like we're going to steal something. Like we, we're there to steal. No, we're not there to steal. We're there to purchase the item that we came in for. And they're not gonna disrespect us, and they're not gonna disrespect our black community. Simple as that. Simple as that. They're not gonna disrespect anybody as far as I'm concerned. If, if it was a, if it was indeed shoplifting, was that a fair response? We don't know if it was shoplifting. We just know what we saw on YouTube and how this young lady was handled by the uh, employees in in this store, not this store, but the store in North, North Carolina. And what, what was it the was it the chokehold that you think was most objectionable? To describe what you what you, what you felt when you saw it. I felt that it was me. It was angry. I was angry when I saw the video. Just like when I saw Eric Gardner with the chokehold, I I was angry. I felt the same way about this video too. In fact, they did more to her than they did to uh, Eric Gardner. They punched her. They punched her. They, they kicked, kicked her. her. They kicked her. Yeah. You know, they they put her arm behind her back. They pulled. They were pulling her arm at the same time. No, uh, -uh we're not gonna we, we're not gonna uh, go along with that. We're gonna shut this store down. So Simple as that. I've been watching you talk to people as a family. What are you saying to them? I'm saying that they need to be educated, that they need to keep the money, their money in the community, and how we are being treated by this, this, the name of this store, and how they disrespect us. So this is what I'm telling our young people. Keep your money. You know, if, keep your money. Uh, put your money in the bank, you know, save it for your education, you know, don't give them all of your money, you know, no, we're not going to allow them to come into our community and beat us up like we're a punching bag, no, we're not going to do that. Okay, so we talk to the owner, what do you, what do you want from him? The owner? I don't want anything from him. I know we're going to just shut it down, I don't want anything from the owner, you know, no, I don't want anything.
this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, you say as well? Uh, James Thomas, J-E-M-E-S-T-J-O-M-E-S. Are you also with Black Lives Matter? Yes, sir. Uh, with all of this corruption that we have in the black neighborhood, we've been misused, spent our money, and no representation, and treated like a dog. I don't like that. And I'm protesting against it. Well, how'd you feel when you saw that video? Terrible. How would you feel if I had taken your wife and threw on the phone? They kick her. Would you feel good? You wouldn't like it, would you? Say something. You're not saying it, right? It's not right. It's not right to do that. You've got too much problem in this country already. For a man to be kicking a woman in the stove by some eyelashes. I'm sick of that. What's your message to the people walking the street here? Stay out of here. Shut it down. Since they feel that way, this is the way we feel. Close it up. No representation for them, we're not giving them that. That's the way it should be. Eye for eye, two for two. I believe in it.
Count that money and go somewhere else. Yeah. She ain't gonna go in here. Yeah. Um, it reminded me of a Latasha Garland's case. And they made one out of Los Angeles. Uh -huh. Where a uh, black teenager was shot to death because allegedly, they, you know, a Korean shop owner had accused her of stealing a small bottle of orange juice. And, Because I noticed police were out here all day yesterday. Now listen, people. I'm going to tell you, show you guys exactly where we at, what it looks like right here. This is the front of it. This is the address right here. Korean. This is the name right here. Right here. This is the right here. This is the name of the store you are. I don't care. your time. Come down and show your face. Come down and show your face. Your time. Don't say nothing because you will but be deleted. Simple as that. I'm just telling you. Hey, Mark tried to, I mean, he tried to delete, to delete me once. No, I ain't never delete you, man. We got it too, but I ain't never delete you, though. No, no, we, yeah, we, I, yeah, we, we good. We it's good. okay to disagree. Misunderstanding happened, but we, we, okay look, to disagree. we stand out here to call together. Together, though. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We out here together. So, you know what I'm saying? You get in the commentation. You two brothers that be out here. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Work it out. Right. right. You're gonna work it out. And, and we know the movement is bigger than us, man. And we got the cause is bigger than us. Yeah. Ladies, do not choose beauty over unity. Do not choose beauty over unity. And so the only I'm going to show how you're educating her right now, but you know, something that you can talk to her. Thank you, sister. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Take your dog out. Take your Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. dollars for they appreciate that. In the black community. That's right. That's right. That's where we at. We standing on it. Y'all talking about the girl that was on the, uh, what's Yeah. Black people. Those are black businesses. 
Yeah. 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 Y
This is real out here, people. This is yeah, real. Y'all know my videos now, uncut, unedited. They're not staged. Yeah. They're raw. I don't add nothing to it, and I don't take nothing away from it at all. We supporting black. We need to support our business. Oh, that's right. That's not a sin. Uh -oh. Respect your black dollar. Respect your black dollar. Respect your black dollar. They don't respect black people here. They don't respect black people here. Respect your dollar. Don't let nobody mistreat you. You don't respect black people. All right, man. What's up, black man? What's happening? What's happening? I got to get you. Yes, sir. You going to say something to us, brother? How you doing, brother? Like you know, brother? Oh, you know, boy, look like uh, the brother of uh, if you had a dollar, what was the TV show? Uh, right. How much money you might have kept in your pocket? Uh, if you had a dollar, the cake was out. That was uh, yeah. the cake was out. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, what was the TV show? Because he ain't hard they didn't appreciate your dollar. You just spent your money. They got what they can through college. Get some piano lessons, some violin lessons. Big bro, big bro. Big bro, What's wrong with her? She not on it. No, 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 no. I'm trying to invite her. I ain't going to get her. Don't worry about it. There you see people who are still here protesting the storm. This is a very special news episode of Roosevelt Sounds Off. I'm collecting this footage that um, on um, today we're saying Korean-owned stores, whether they're Arab-owned stores, whether it's anything, if they can't respect us as being people, they cannot continue on to get our money. A very special episode of Roosevelt Sounds Off. We're not here to fight our own people. We're not here. We're not here. Don't be. They have no respect for the right people. We demand to be treated. We're going to shut your mouth. Yeah. 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 It was. It, 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 Please don't bring your mouth to the That's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
she grabs her arm, preventing her from protecting herself. Look at that, look at that. She knows what she's doing with that arm, that arm hole, right? right? She knows what she's doing. Now look, look what she's about to do. Look what she's about to do. She's gonna tell him, let up. This is real, people. Y'all know the years of these plots don't Helen, wait a minute, 47. Wait a second. 47 in Calumet. You driving? You got a car? Any person trying to go. You got more eight person trying to You got, hold on. You got another one on 1987 Night Street, which is yours. You got another one on 82nd and Cash. You got another one on 87th and Racing. And 87th and Lumber. I appreciate y'all the phone. All right, man. Okay. Up, All right. Thanks a lot, man. Peace to you, brother. Peace. Don't get him a dollar, a dime in here, man. Yeah. We make the impact. Yes, sir. Yes, we make sir. the impact. Yes, we've started something. How much money did we redirect today? Right. How much money did we redirect today? Are you saying we set them totally down? That happened in Charlotte. This is one of the stores right here in the city. But how much money do you think that they might have lost today? Oh, they lost some money today. Trust me. They lost some money. Yes, sir. And Just the fact some? that it's the money that ain't going to ever come back again. That's right. You know what I'm saying? It's the, money, it's the money that ain't ever gonna come back. It's not just the $10 that wasn't spent today. It's the $10 that ain't gonna be spent today, tomorrow, the next day, the next day, and the next day, and the next mm -hmm. day. It's not just one purchase. It's a multitude. It's somebody, like any other business, is right on. It's any other business, it's your residual clientele. It's who constantly spends money with you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That's how every, this is how businesses go people. out of business when they lose customers. I mean, what do you think? What do you say something about black people who still continue on to come in here despite like, what you tried to show them? What other people are trying to show them? What, don't what's going don't, on don't attack them. Don't attack them. Education is over time. Edu education is going to be over time. We under, you know what I'm saying? Some people have been trained to accept disrespect. We All our lives, we accept disrespect in some order. We accept disrespect in our school. System, we accept disrespect in our uh, in those interactions with the police. What's up, bro? You want to have to go in there? Yeah, we got family. Alright, you sure? I just want to show you a tape of them disrespecting the system. Else. If you want to see it, and think about what you're about to do. How you do? Yeah, we'll not tell them. Right. Yeah, you can't win everybody, but you got to spread the dollars. Some people, they just get in me, they might go. You know what I'm saying? One thing we got to say, she's not my enemy. Right. She's not my enemy. And, you know what I'm saying? She's not our target. Uh-huh. And everything. As much as we want to educate her about what happened, no. I mean, but what if you, I mean, but what if, what about the people who it seems like the black people seem like they're mad at you or since I'm here too, let's just Let say, them be mad, mad, at mad at us Let them be because mad at us. we're bringing them the information. Because it's just, not convenient. Because I, cause I know the video I'm doing tonight and stuff, this is a very special episode of Roosevelt Sounds Off, in case you all it's don't okay. know. It's okay. And when people, when some of my viewers see this, I know some of my viewers are going to be upset that I'm covering this because the main thing that they it's always okay. gonna say it's okay. is that what about black on black crime? No, I tell people it's, I can do it. What about black on black crime? It's okay. The point is, is we the point is that it's not about black on black crime. The point is about this store here. We're not talking about black on black crime. Right. We would handle that later. But right now we're more concerned about this this store, this name. So and we're gonna continue to protest on this store, whether they like it or not. Of course, we can stop some people because some people get it, but some people don't get it. And that's all good. That's all good. But when it happened to their family, they're gonna say, oh, that's why they were out here protesting. Mm -hmm. You hear me? Yeah. When, I'm gonna when share it a story. happened, I'm gonna share a story happened. with you if I don't matter. Yes. Nope. I used to work uh, downtown off North Michigan Avenue. The H and uh, W store, H and whatever store. Uh, an Asian young lady was in the store. She, whatever happened, one of the customer service assistants called her a mail order bride. The next day, a, a, 
a organization, an Asian organization was there outside that store shutting it down on North Michigan Avenue, hurting their brand. Uh -huh. What is the lesson learned from that? You disrespect one of them, they're going to take action. Well, you disrespect one of us, we're going to take action. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Share it on, share it on your page. Will you be out here Saturday? Yeah. Saturday, we got a This is Miss Carolyn Ruff. <laughs> Miss Carolyn Ruff. You're going to be Ruff. Uh, oh, oh, uh, Ruff. It's Ruff. Uh, it is, you're the organizer of this here thing. You're the reason how come we are out here. Yes. And even though I've said it one time or something on my video, uh, please tell my uh, YouTube audience of Roosevelt Sounds Off uh, what we're going to be doing, what we're doing here first of all this evening, and what we're going to be doing on Saturday this afternoon. Well, have a go. At 12 noon. Right there. Okay. Well, thank you, my brother. But, uh, Yesterday, I saw this video of this young lady being beat and stoned to death in this, not this store, but the owner that it happened in North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina, owned this store. So the reason we're out here is to protest this store as well, because guess what, we're going to shut it down. They shut the store down in, in North Carolina. So we're going to shut this store down because they're not going to disrespect our community, our black community. They're not going to disrespect it. We give them our dollars, but do they give us dollars back? No. When we go in that store, they follow us like we're thieves. Are we thieves? No, we're not thieves. When our children go in that store, they follow them like they're thieves. And then they start accusing them. No, we're not going to allow them. And let me just add this. Even though the young lady, you see, now, did that. now, allegedly, they said that she stole the lashes or whatever it was. Yes. Now, we all know, uh, from my audience who always say, I never look at the other side, uh -huh. we all know that it's wrong to steal. Right, But at right. the same time, I think that even if she did steal, right. it was an overreaction. So whatever she did, right. to me, she would get a free pass because of a chokehold over a $2 item. I have stole it from a store. I have gotten caught. Right. I know a lot of people have got sticky fingers every now and then. We don't know. It wasn't proven. So right. let's not put that label on that and, young and lady. We didn't see I just said, even if it is. Okay. I'm even saying, even I'm going with the fact that she did. So we got to play. Like like even if you can that we got to play devil's advocate. Even if you can 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 play devil's advocate. We got to understand that when it's all said and done, she did not deserve it. Can I give you a little education? She knows, she knows. And we got to understand that no matter what, we got to, uh, there is a, there's protocols, there's procedures. They had armed security. Armed security that was on camera walked away from the incident and said, you know, I'm not going to involve myself. Armed paid security. And when the armed security, the person that they hired to manage loss prevention, decided not to intervene, they should have said, uh, what is our procedure? Yeah. Uh, companies have protocols. A company that does this much business would you say it's over a half a million dollars? No, 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 a million or more. A million or more pro uh, worth of products oh, yeah. in, the, in that no, in this store right now. Look at it, down each hall. Would you say that's over a million dollars of product? Yeah, more than that. More than a million dollars of products more in that, than that store. So that makes them a pretty no sizable company. Smart. A lot of times, this is not just dates on products. This is not a, a small company. This is a company product. that has. You know, they they have, have no respect us for us. Every, every company, company I ever worked oh, with, I, I worked with another company. Okay. Uh, no, it was okay. You had to, you, uh, you had to, you, you had to do what you had to do. I never <laughs> seen the company that didn't mark off their losses at, uh, when it came to uh, taxes. It's called. Uh, uh, What's it called? Company, some call it calls property, uh, losses, property losses, loss. property losses, yeah. something yeah. like that. Then they come at the end of the year. Uh, they, they call it strength. 
Yeah, they, they call it strength. Right. Companies call it strength. Right. You work at a major company. Hey, we were supposed to tell people this is like what time this event is going to take place this Saturday on March 18th. Look at the camera and tell YouTube, my national audience, what's going to happen here on the 18th. On Saturday, March 18th, it's going to be a massive protest. They are Boycott here black in front of Miss Hall's store. All the park and I encourage and please come out to support this protest. To let them know that they, they just cannot treat to not even our women or anybody in park. the way they treat Google us. Google Orland Park. Please come out and sticker. support and this. What you're gonna Please, come up it's with. at 12 o'clock. We will be here from 12 until 7. Okay, so they're closing. I they're closing. The gates are down. Please come out and the support The gates are down. Support it. Support it. Down. Keep your money in uh, your pocket. Get a of them up. You can go and shop somewhere else. But well. well, don't well. shop at Miss Pops. Please. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Miss Carolyn. Oh, you, oh, that was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I had to hear something from the audience. Hey, old school. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I get straight to the point. You should. Because <laughs> if I don't, I'll forget. <laughs> you know how seniors are, you know. You don't even look like no senior. <laughs> ma'am, ma'am. I wouldn't let no man do that to you. I wouldn't let no man do that to you. It doesn't matter what. I know. I'm a brother. Okay. You can't judge what you do. You can't judge what you do. You can't judge He could have let her go. Did you see the video, brother? He could have. I wouldn't have did it. Brother, did you see the video? Did you see the video? Okay. Cool. All right. Respect to you. They take our dollars and they put it back in there. Yeah. Y'all have a little bit. Y'all have. When we have black, when we have black clubs, parties, when we do things for our kids, like all back and forth backpacks, these businesses do not donate. No, I agree. My mother has been working at their store. Until we get some black people to offer the same products, we gotta do what we do. Y'all drive? 81st of Cottage Grove. We support everybody. This is our community. They not supporting this, us. This is our community. Her family stay on 87. They ain't dumping nothing over here. This is why I stay. We have a good evening with the baby. He just gave my kid. He just did something last year. Yeah, he trying to win. He's not helping. We're not helping. We're not going to argue with them. Just let them go. Yeah. Yeah.
tell us what you did at uh, on 6 3rd uh, Cottage Grove, real quick. That's real the author of the shutdown. Wake up, right. Judah, it's time to wake up. And on the west side, the gas station. Wake up, Judah! Wake up, Judah! Demonstrate unity. Wake up, Judah! 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 Wake North Hills, Palos Hills, 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 all these yeah. other exclusive uh, right. communities and whatnot. Meanwhile, we're funding our own oppression. They sending their kids to schools and, and whatnot who will end up being on top of our kids while we stand at the bottom, steady spending our money with these people. They need to go. And so I'm just happy to be out here and see people taking a stand yeah, and shut, listen, we need to shut down every last one of these guys. I agree, I agree. You know what I mean? I mean, as soon as this one is done, we need to find another. No, that's right, you know brother. What I mean? And so whatever's going on here, I'm just here to support you. I appreciate and, uh, it, bro. Trying to see the schedule. Yeah. You know what times y'all gonna be out here? Cause I could be out here for a couple hours. Hey, Black Old Beautiful, 81st at Kytus Grove, 87th at Racine. 87th and Loomis, 80 81st and Cottage Grove, 82nd and Loomis, now no, 82nd and Racine, 87th and Racine, 87th and Loomis. You, and 81st not, and uh, 81st and Cottage. He no, he's no, not no, connected. They're black. black on. They're That's black on. Yeah. Uh, well, hey, Carolyn, tell uh, our brother, this new Arab brother from Chicago, tell him our schedule. Just, she's a big host. Tell him our schedule. Be out here every day. We, we, we will be here every day at uh, 5 o'clock, 5, five, five, five to five. 7, every day. Yeah. And then Saturday is a massive day. protest. Yeah. Okay. So oh. if you could tell all of your friends to please come out and support us. Oh, you got us. big time on okay. gauge. Please come out and support us because we got to shut this store down. Absolutely. Although Absolutely. we can't get to some of these people that's going in there and they want to argue with us. You know what? That's, we don't care. That's, 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 that's the problem. Our people, that's listen, our people are sick. Uh -huh. yeah, I'm laughing right now. You know, so I'm when you see laughing. somebody, it's just like if, if, if a, a little white retarded kid walked up to you and called you a nigga. Yes. You'll look at them and say, he's sick. So when, when people defy you and, and, and want to get all aggressive and whatnot because you're trying to train them. See, we've been trained to think of something. Here you That's go. right. Here you go. So once you stop, just say, man, they sick. Yeah. Yeah. But keep on standing and taking the stance that you're taking, man. So so this, this is great. He shut, he shut down uh, 63rd and Cottage Grove Metro, yeah. Metro PC and the gas station on the west side. Well, guess what? Help us shut this store down. Absolutely. That's what I'm here for. I, 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 I found out about it yesterday. I wasn't able to make it. Okay. I'm on my way to a meeting right now. Okay. But uh, I had to stop back right. on the west side. Yeah. Yeah. I had to come out here. Uh, logistics and what's going on there, man. I have no problem with coming out here. Talk, talk. He probably don't know. He might know Tall West Side though. It's a tall guy. I got his number. I call. I got his number too, but I. for me. Okay. I mean, we got to post this thing on social media. Right. So more. The whole damn community should be out. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just love black. I heard black people was taking a stand. I had to come out here and, and all say power to the yes, people. That's what's and it, and this ain't no one organization. It's different. We all from different that's, walks of life. That's yeah. the beauty of yeah, it. There ain't got to be no organization. Right. Right. See, we got to get our that, mindset out right. of this whole, yes. Yes. you know, we got to, uh, all of us got to agree on everything. Yeah, right. Everything. You know, right. black people fall uh -huh. out a lot about strategy. Uh -huh. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or whatever. Maybe your approach may be a little more aggressive than the next person's or whatever, but the main thing is the principle. Shutting this motherfucker down. Nah, that's it. Go. Shut it there down. You you know. there that's go. right. Hey, that's Sister right. Ellen. Hey, I'm going to try to leave. And although they're saying that, right. that they're not the owner of the store in North Carolina, but they have the same name. You know listen, and that's, brother, and that's listen. Let me say this. Right Let me say this, Helen. Let me say this, y'all. Uh -huh. If American Airlines plane go down mm -hmm. and crash, they're not going to blame the plane, they're going to blame the company. Yeah, yeah. Simple as that. Right. That's right. Ain't that right? right. Absolutely. That's logic. Absolutely. The bottom line is this yeah. here. We, 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 we can talk yeah. about this and that. Right. All the little 
intricacies right. if we want to. The main yeah. thing is shut we this shut motherfucker down. That's, that's it. Shut right. it down. Right. Right. Shut it down. You know, that's you that's right. your gift Absolutely. Because and guess what? Can. All y'all money going to the same pool. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know they got they got uh, chamber of commerce all throughout the country. And listen, right back, they sitting around in their country right now. Uh huh. Uh, y'all trying their best to get over here just better. so they can get our money. That's right. That's, That's right. Yes. That's right. That's right, bro. Because they know we don't, we don't, we don't uh, unify. Please don't, don't shut him out there, sister. They have no respect anything. for black people, black dollars. They beat our sisters down. Please stop. She came here yesterday. She ain't faithful. Yeah. yeah. See. This, 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 you know, that's see, that's see, there's a lack of knowledge of self, too. Our people have to be, I'm, I'm sorry, we got to be forced to do what's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's, that's ain't right. that same that's shame. Right. See, yeah, nobody in, nobody out. That's, right. that's it. You know, I wouldn't give a damn about the police standing down there. Right. Right. Yeah. right. You know, because it's all not like this. Don't choose right. beauty over unity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we need to, yeah, we need to get some together. Yeah. To start yeah. passing out to the right. people. Right. Our people need, we need to be a fan. What up, Janice? What up, Charlene? I got some literature written out and stuff like that. I'll be out here tomorrow okay. to bring that through. Oh, okay, do. please yeah. do. So, so we can yes. have something to pass. Hello, everybody. This is Roosevelt again. You see, I'm back. And of course, um, I didn't get a chance to finish up like um, some of the things that I was doing out in the field today because my, I did so much taping and recording on this event that um, both my batteries for my camera ran out of juice so I got as much as I could get but this is my ending commentary um, on the whole thing. I didn't want to close this without giving some commentary as to you know what has happened and some of the updates to the story. Um, I don't know um, if any of you all know, but um, just in case um, you might have missed it, you know, we were out today at Miss Haas, or, you know, who one guy who's a black worker there told me I was mispronouncing it. He says the name is really Misha, or whatever the heck. It's M-I-S-S-H-A. I, I just said whatever. Um, it's located at... Um, 642 East 47th Street in the south side of Chicago and it's a beauty supply store that's Korean owned and um, there was a store owned with the same name owned by the same owner here in the Chicago area but this owner owns another store in North Carolina and a black girl down there was choked out because allegedly she stole some eyelashes or some other items now like I said earlier um, in talking to some of the people, now um, it's alleged and they said that she didn't steal, but let's just say if she did. Now we all know, if I have to play devil's advocate for a minute, because you know we all know that it's wrong to steal, but at the same time, I feel that even if she was stealing, I feel that the chokehold was an overreaction to whatever it was that she did. Because, I mean, if you saw the video, the video was pretty violent. And even the store manager who put this chokehold on her in North Carolina, he said that he regrets doing it. And he said he offered to resign. This is the uh, story that I heard on the Channel 7 News tonight. That um, the um, store manager down in North Carolina told the um, owner that he offered to resign. But so far, the owner has not accepted his resignation so every single day since this Misha or Miss Haas whatever the hell is up here in Chicago and he also has one in New York is related and the same owner owns the same one in North Carolina too every single day different activists even you know hopefully maybe I can depend on what's going on in my life I might not be down there every single day but people and protesters have vowed to be down there every single day to help to shut this business down because it seems like we don't get any kind of respect in our community for spending our dollars I mean the only thing that they can ever respect about us is our money 
In this case, eerily reminds me of a case that took place back in the early 90s in Los Angeles, the Latasha Harlan's case. In case you all didn't know, um, there was a young lady, you know, black um, teenager, who there was a store, Korean store owner, had said that she had allegedly stole like a small bottle of orange juice or some crap. And the Korean store owner ended up killing her, you know, ended up shooting her. I mean, I don't think that even if somebody is stealing, even though it's wrong, I'm not trying to take up for that at all, I don't think that the overreaction is valid over, you know, what was stolen. That's how come they have chanted in front of this store, lives over lashes, because a person's life is worth much more than any kind of item that they could ever steal. And I just think that it's an overreaction. I feel that it's an overreach. Just because somebody or, you know, allegedly stole something, you want to throw them on the ground and put them in a chokehold? I mean, I think that this is just uncalled for. It is something that's completely unforgivable. So that's how come on this Saturday, which is March um, 18th, 2017, at the Misha's um, Beauty Supply House. Um, I'm putting a word out there on YouTube that there will be a big, massive protest. We're trying to get hundreds of people out there. Now, I can't be there when it first starts off because it starts at 12 noon, but I have another obligation at 12 noon. But trust me, I will be there afterwards. And yes, um, if I can, Roosevelt sounds off. We'll be doing special coverage. So all of my subscribers, please stay tuned for that. This is going to be a massive protest at 12 noon here in Chicago at the Misha's um, Beauty Supply Store located at 642 East 47th Street on the southwest side, on the south um, side of Chicago. So everybody who sees this here in Chicago, make sure that you share this video and make sure you make this particular video of all of this coverage that I put out today go viral. And um, I don't know, hope to see some of you all there and let's just shut this business down because these people who come into our neighborhoods who's trying to sell us goods truly and really and truly do not respect us. So um, this is all, I'm going to leave it right there for Roosevelt Sounds Off. This is my special ending commentary, and hopefully I will talk to everybody very soon. Peace and blessings to all.